I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Pisces, the recent path energy between you and your person. We got the Queen of Wands. And it's with the World card. Now, the Queen of Wands can refer to a woman who would have a lot of fire type of energy. She could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. When it's not referring to an actual person, it can stand for getting a lot accomplished. It could be focused on work, career, or maybe family rom and romance. The Queen is a very positive, uplifting energy. So when she stands for an actual person in your life, She's a good friend who is 100% on your side, even though she could seem, or she may seem a bit self-absorbed. So if you're trying to conceive and you get the Queen of Wands in the reading, it's actually one of the most positive signs that there can be. Now it's with the World card. The World card is about completion. You've worked hard, you're almost to the finish line in some way, so just just don't quit now because you're so close. You could feel like you need some well-deserved rest, relaxation, don't be afraid to take it. You're getting closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. So when it comes to work, it's a very good chance that you could be working way too hard for far too little recognition and money. So if this is the case, it's going to be important for you to toot your own horn a little just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. So recent past energy. Queen of Wands, clarified by the world card. So the message that I'm getting is that for a lot of you Pisces, this connection or this person that you were dealing with, they had you kind of like in your head, so to say. And I say this because... The Queen of Wands is very determined. Um, this The Queen of Wands can be egotistical, used to getting what she wants. She knows her worth. Very confident. So, part of you was very, very determined about your person, about the connection, giving it your all, because like I said, the Queen of Wands is about, can be about a person who's 100% solidly, solidly on your side. So you were giving it your best shot, and you, you were very determined about the connection. And then, on the flip side, of your emotions, you you felt like this really needs to, to be done and over with. Yeah, because this world card, the card below the word pass, is about closure, ending a cycle, completing a journey. Yeah. So you would go back and forth. You would be ready to fight for this connection to make sure it makes it. You're very determined about your person. But then you, you would go, then the next day or the next week, you, 
be ready for it to just be, be, be over with. Yeah, you'll go back and forth, back and forth, determined and then not so determined. Determined and then, oh, this shit, this, this really needs to end. And then back to being determined and then back to being, you're ready for the cycle to be done with. So you go back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. So that's a recent past energy. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we've got the Eight of Cups and it's with the Hierophant. Now this Eight of Cups, it often means that you you will choose to leave a situation uh, that's no longer working for you, whether it's a relationship, could be a job, a neighborhood, or a person. Um, there is some sadness involved, but the separation is in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, living arrangement, trust yourself. Instead of this coming out of the, the blue, or somewhere, something leaving you. Um, this uh, Eight of Cups usually means that you're the one who will make the choice. Just know very often one door has to close behind before the next door in front of you can fully open. Now, it's with the Hierophant. With the Hierophant, you could be searching for the meaning of life you're con considered to be. A great loyal friend when you're called on for help or advice with some important matters. Your intelligence and empathy put you in a position to provide a lot of support. So this could be you or someone coming towards you or someone that you know. This type of person could be quick-witted, 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 well-educated. A wise teacher marked by integrity. Quite frank, frankly, the Hierophant um, is the genuine, they're a genuine article. Um, the real deal, a true blue, they're highly admired individuals. They walk the walk, they talk the talk, and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. So coming up, uh, Pisces, Eight of Cups, clarified by the Hierophant. So yeah, like I said, in the recent past with this person, you went back and forth, being determined about making it work and then being ready to just let it all be done with. Back and forth like that. So you were hot and then cold, hot and cold. So you could, it looks like you couldn't make up your mind, but coming up, it looks like with the Eight of Cups, it looks like, yeah, a lot of you are, could be thinking about walking away, but for, for a lot of you, you're walking away because the Eight of Cups is about walking away and leaving it behind. It's, it can be about things, things going sour. So you could withdraw and be moving on. And because it's with the Hierophant, I'm getting that. Um, for some of you, you were hoping that your person could be more like the Hierophant. More true, loyal, honest, sincere. And you didn't get that. So looks like you're, you're, you're out of there or you're on your way out. You're walking away. You're leaving it behind. And for some of you, you, you're going towards, you're hoping to go towards, or you were hoping for something more genuine, more real, more true, more honest, more sincere like the Hierophant. Yeah, but you didn't get it, so... You're moving, you're moving on. That's what the Eight of Cups is showing. You're no longer going back and forth. 
that must have drove you crazy. Yeah, you were going back and forth with this, trying to make a decision. You were determined, and then you were ready to throw your hands up. It looks like coming up, you're throwing your hands up, and you're realizing that you're not going to get sincerity and truth and loyalty from this person. So, we move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We have the Three of Swords and it's with the Six of Cups. Now, now with the Three of Swords, yeah, it's, it's a pretty ugly, it's an ugly card in the tarot as far as its meaning goes. With this card, there's an element of sorrow. And it's undeniable. But what's on the other side of the sorrow can be enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow that comes up. This way you can move past it. This card can point to possibly a, a very deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you deny any pain, it will not make it go it will not make it go away. So make sure to allow yourself to experience any pain or sadness that comes up. This way you can move past it, but don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough. Now, this with the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups can be a card about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always connected with children or childhood. It's important, though, not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days, because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can actually... It can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So your challenge, Pisces. Three of Swords. Clarified by the Six of Cups. So, yeah, what I'm getting here is, like I said, the Three of Swords is, is not a pretty card in the tarot. Hmm. Somebody's hurt here. Could be... You or your person, um, they see that you're moving on. They could be hurt and they could be um, like the Six of Cups being very reminiscent. They could be reminiscing about um, the all the happy memories the two of you made. Yeah, or this could be you, Pisces. Yeah, um, you, you or your person could be feeling blue, sad about the split. Or if, if you haven't split yet, they can feel that you're about to. So somebody, your person could be sad about this and hurt. Yeah. Um, this three of swords can be about rejection, so... Somebody's feeling rejected. And they feel that you're closing off from them. So, yeah, they're, at the same time, they're being um, nostalgic and thinking about all the happy memories that the two of you made. Yeah, so it's sad. Breakups and splits. Uh, it's, it's so, so sad. But anyway, this is the vibe that I'm getting from this reading. It's a sad breakup. Because somebody's just mm, thinking about all those happy memories. And it's hurting them to feel that um, you're moving on. So let's see what the outcome is. Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands, and it's with the star. Now, the Ten of Wands, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. You may want to look hard 
at this and see if there are any ways that you can lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you could, f you could find part of the burden that you're carrying emotionally. It actually belongs to someone else, so it's going to be important for you to pace yourself. Pace yourself and try not to take on too much. Now it's with the star card. With this card, you could find yourself feeling really inspired and feeling more hopeful about the future than you have in a long time. So you could feel more confident that your needs, they're being met, whether it's emotional or financial or both. You could feel like they're being met or they will be met. Just know nothing can be taken for granted, but it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. Now, this can be a spiritual card, so you could find yourself, at least for a time, feeling at one with all of creation. It's not a common feeling, so try to savor it. So your outcome, Pisces, Ten of Wands. Clarified by the star. Yeah, well, see, this Ten of Wands is about um, a hard place in a relationship. It can it can mean um, just difficult. It can mean that um, your emotional energy is drained. You can feel like the connection of the person uh, sucked the life out of you. Yeah, so that that could be how you're feeling. You could you come for the outcome. You could um, um, feel that the connection really drains you. But it's with a star card, so you could be trying to um, you could be trying to get rejuvenation. Because the star card is about being rejuvenated, being hopeful, having faith. Um, it's also about any grief of the past is release. So you're trying to feel fabulous again. You're trying to feel like that. You're like the star card. You want all the grief of the past. You want it to be gone. And it looks like it will be because you got the star card here. But for, for, for now, coming up, it could feel difficult. It could feel like it's going to take forever just to, just to be hopeful again about anything. Especially about relationships. So, it looks like things could turn around for you pre pretty fast. Like I said, it's because the star card is here. Yeah, it's showing that rejuvenation, hope, grief of the past is all, all that's going to be all gone. But like I said, you got to work through the difficult period of of having um, your emotional energy being drained for for a little while. I don't think it's going to be for a long time. Not with the star card here. So, Pisces, that's your reading. I, I wish it was more cheerful. Um, yeah, it's kind of a sad reading. Breakups, they suck. I don't... Well, this is only... Did I say this was for the... This is for the third week of... Yeah, this is for the third week of, um, January 2021. So, you know, these readings, they're just weekly. Next week can be... Rainbow, money, there's a money tree in your backyard, um, you finally met your twin flame, yeah, these readings, they, the energy change, they shift every week, so, this is a weekly reading, who knows, next week you could say your person is coming back, but anyway, I'm going to put this reading out there, because I think someone needs to hear it. Yeah, this reading, it will not resonate with everyone, with all of you Pisces, it will not. Because not everyone's going through some 
breakup or a separation. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. And again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, Pisces, thank you so much for watching. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, you have to keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. And yes, the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed, meaning you could be your person or your person could be you. So just take your readings for however it resonates. Because these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're all having a great new year. I'm wishing you all the very best for 2021. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.